I'm in the process of working on my 2015 Nissan Murano. I replaced the wipers back about, I don't know, probably about 5,000, 10,000 miles ago. And they lasted for about maybe 5,000 miles. The rest of that time, I've just been too lazy to replace them. I brought this brand here, Trico Exact. I was not happy with them after, like I said, about 5,000 miles in. I wasn't happy. They got real hard, and they start not wiping no more. i just been too lazy to replace them. Well, I learned from that mistake. And luckily, I held on to the original wipers that actually came off the car. Just because I didn't trust going out the market, I was just trying to be cheap because at the time, these wipers were expensive. I think they were like $30 a piece. Well, anyways, I went ahead and I ordered some more, but instead of getting the wipers, I went ahead and got the inserts. As you can see, 28895-5AA1A, that's going to be the passenger side insert. And then I got the 28895-5AA0A. That's going to be the driver's side. So what I'm doing right now is I got my little picking tool. I went up under the wiper. Was able to pull it out. And then I'm going to pull the actual insert out and pull the... And, and, and push the new insert in. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna see if I can get somebody to come hold the camera while I do it so I can show you guys. Hold on. Today, I'm working on my personal 2015 Nissan Murano. Probably about, I don't know, 50,000, 45,000 miles ago, I replaced the wipers. At that time, I caught myself trying to get the dealer wipers, but they wanted like $30 a piece for these things. So I went to Walmart, I brought these. They didn't really have any reviews on them, so I didn't know which way to go with it. So I went ahead and brought them anyway. Trikozak fits. They fit right on, I mean perfect. Uh, they worked for about 5,000 miles. And then it's, then I started getting the, the screeching sound. It wasn't wiping right. So I felt the rubber and realized the rubber was real hard. So basically, I only got about 5,000 miles out of them. So I went ahead and instead of um, ordering the whole blade itself, I went online and I was able to go to Nissan and order the inserts itself. 28895-5AA1A. That's going to be the passenger side. Driver's side is going to be 28895-5AA0A. What I'm going to do, and thank God I, I did this, you know, 5,000 miles ago. When I replaced the wipers, I held on to the original ones. Because just because I didn't trust this, I was like, something's probably going to be crazy with this. So I'll just wait and see. And I'm glad I did. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and replace the, the, um, the, um, the um, inserts, the blades. So we're going to start off with the passenger side one. What I did was, this was underneath this little housing, like this, as you can see, like that. So what I did was, I took my picking tool and went up under it and pried it out. So now, it should just slide like this. See how it's sliding out, guys? It should slide out just like this. Now, keep it in the same way because you don't want to get it confused. So see how I slid it out and I put it in the same organization that the way I took it out so I don't, you know what I'm saying, get confused. If you don't normally do these, yeah, it'll be easy to get confused. Now, on these blades, it's going to have like a little indentation like this. It won't have it on the other side. So, what I'm going to do is pull out the new blade uh, like this. As you can see, then I'm going to match it up, make sure I got, got it on the right side. Has that indentation. That's what we're looking for, that cut in the hole. Then we'll look, make sure it lines up. It does. Pick the wiper back up. 
and start from this side and slide it back in. Oh, I'm sorry. There is a piece of tape on here that we have to remove. So let's go ahead and remove that piece of tape. All right, just like that. Uh, just like that. And then here go another piece of tape. And the picking tool, you can go to Walmart, get a set of these for about, I don't know, two or three dollars. Or you can go to Hopper Freight. Don't spend a lot of money on them. Like I said, get the cheapest thing you can find. Alright, it's going to want to try to come apart. Just make sure you keep it in now. I probably should have left the one tape on until I slid it on. To keep this from happening but anyway so just put it back in like this yeah I'm gonna put that one tape back on that way I'm not fighting with it all right so indentation Alright, so let's flip it over like that so I can put the other piece back in. Yeah, don't do what I did. Leave the one tape on until you get it all the way in there so they don't fall out. Because, yeah, that can be a little aggravating, this seems. Um, and then put this in. Like this. And then slide it back in. You see how I'm sliding it in, guys? Um, making sure that these grooves on the wiper is going into this little corridor right here. So take your time. Slide it in. And then just go down. Just like this. Don't pay the dealer to do this. They'll charge you an hour label. And the mechanics, they do this all the time. So it might take them, I don't know, five minutes maybe. Only reason why it's taking me a little longer is because I don't do this all the time. But I can promise you, you don't want to pay them guys. Because they'll, they'll rob you as the day is long. Okay. Uh, let me just see one thing. I think I gotta flip that metal over because I'm pretty sure that metal has to be in the same spot as the other one. So let's go ahead and flip that one over. Now it should be alright. We'll find out right now. If not, I'll just take it back out. Yeah, it don't matter. Okay. Yeah, it don't matter. Okay, yeah, slide it in. And then it'll sit. You'll see this groove right here. And it'll sit right in there. And look, it is, it is secure. Just make sure you slide it to the point where these little nipples sticking out slides into that little indentation on both sides. And that's it. We're done with the passenger side. Now we're going to do the driver's side. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, again, keep track of what you're doing. Uh, we'll start off here. No, I'm sorry. Start down here. Pry it up. Get it out of the groove. Just like that. And then get the other one. Get it out the groove. Just like that. And then it 
should slide right out. See how I did that, guys? Should slide right out. And again, and make sure you use a towel so you don't scratch your car. But again, I don't know why the car keep beeping. Put this down. And let's slide it out. Just like this, guys. Real easy. Kate walk. All right. Then lay it down the same way you took it off so you'll remember how it goes back on. So, let's pull this one out. Now, this one didn't have the tape on it like the other one did. Oh, yeah, it did. It just fell out. Huh. Okay. Anyways, put that trash up here. Or oh, down here. And then, we're going to look. See this indentation right here? Come on, princess. Get a close-up so they know. See that hole? Make sure that hole lines up with this hole. That one, I guess, don't matter because it doesn't line up. But I think it's this one that matters. So, that's fine. Let's flip it over like this. All right. Let's remove the tape. No, no. We're going to keep that one so we don't have that problem we had the first time. We're going to remove this one. And let's put this here. And then we are going to line it up. So this one is going to be the... Okay, so this one has to line up like this. Put it in the second groove, not the first one towards the wiper. The second groove, slide it in. Okay. And then I'm going to put the tape back on temporarily so it stays in now. All right, that one's lining up. And then we'll put this side on. Right here. Okay, now I put that tape back on temporarily until I slide it back into the arm itself. Okay, now we got it back in. Again, looking at the original, how I laid it. This side needs to be at the bottom where the hole is at. And I don't mean to talk to you guys stupid. I'm just trying to make it as easy as possible as if you've never done this before. Because trust me, I know how hard it can be when somebody runs through the video real fast as if we all are ace mechanics and we're not. We're just people that want to save money. But anyways, start on this side here. Make sure the second groove is running through these little nipples sticking out. So put it in underneath like this. And then it should slide right through. And don't forget to take the tape off the bottom. I left it on the top there. So the, the, so the, I guess this metal rod doesn't fall out. What it's called, I don't know. Who cares? doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't get paid to do this. And just keep sliding it through. Sliding it through. Sliding it through. Now we're going to get to the tape. Now we can remove the tape right here because that the, the metal rods ain't gonna come out no more so let's remove the tape let's put it on the box now let's slide it finish sliding it through and then these two nipples are gonna wanna go into these two holes See this hole right here? 
in this hole right here. So just push it. You got a good angle? Alright, push it. See how I went in them holes? Them holes keep the blade from sliding around. See? It ain't sliding around no more. So now, the, the actual blades are done. So now we're going to remove the trico blades that I, that I installed. And we're going to put the Nissan blades back on. And I think this will work from 2015 to now. I think now for 2019. They're all the same model right now. So this will actually be compatible with 2015 to 2019. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the towel. This is very important, especially if you haven't done blades before. We're going to put the towel underneath. In case the wiper slips out your hands, it's going to hit the towel and not break a $2,000 windshield. So, matter of fact, if you really want to be careful, get like two or three towels and fold them over. Okay, now what we're going to do is there's a clip right here. Princess, oh, I want them to see the clip, baby. All right. There's a clip right here. Can they see it? Mm -hmm. All right. On the other side of this wiper assembly, there's a clip. You're going to pull the clip towards you. Pull it towards you. Pull it towards you. Like that. And then it should come right up. No, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. These here, I forgot. You got to push the clip away from you. I said pull it towards you. I was mistaken. There's a clip right here. You got to push it that way. There's going to be a little clip right here. Like that. And then it'll come down. So pull it. Pull it away from you. My mistake. And then. See how they come off? Bam. See how they come off? Now. Now. Look at this. Look at this. This, this is really important. See the mistake I was about to make? Right here. Look at that. I was about to hit my windshield. So. I'm going to move the towel to where I don't hit my windshield. That would have been a costly mistake for me. I caught myself saving money going this route. Well, I don't want to save $50 just to have to pay $2,000 to put a windshield on. Okay, now, let's get the wiper that I just rebuilt. And then we're going to take the arm. You see the, the piece right here? Uh, flip this up flip that up and then take the arm stick it in that hole see that hole right here stick it in the hole and then uh, move the wiper up so stick it in the hole and then see how that did see like that and then put that down wiper ain't going nowhere alright let's go do the passenger side Okay, let's grab our pick. Again, let's make sure this is sitting underneath so we don't make that $2,000 mistake. Now, flip the lever up. Like that. See how I did that? Flip it up with the piercing tool. Then, Move it up like this. There you go. That goes. And look at how the wiper just disintegrated. 5,000 miles. The wiper's not even there no more. The wiper's gone. All that's left is the rubber part. The difference. See the difference? See how it stands up? Look at the difference. This one doesn't stand up. It totally fell off. This is 5,000 miles. Now, there is a warranty on this, but I, I didn't want to go through it. I'm, I'm not putting these cheat wipers back on. I've been on tour my windshield behind some cheat wipers like that. But the, I, I do have a warranty. And the funny thing is I was going to send the warranty in, get the new ones, and then go on and sell them on eBay. But then it'll probably cost just as much to ship them. So 
Screw the warranty. Rock Auto can have that warranty. All right, now we're going to slide this in here like this. Remember, this goes on like this. And it locks in. And that's it. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you. I fooled around, put this one back on. This one was actually, this one was over here. I just realized that, being an idiot. This was the wiper I was supposed to put on. After I put it on, I said, what the hell did I just do? What a goddamn idiot. Well, since I don't edit none of my videos, I just do my video, pause from here, and then, then I upload them. I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not getting paid for this. I just like to share information for the non-trolling guys that really want to know. You know, as if you was the friend next door and we both sitting here replacing the wipers together. Yeah, I was an idiot. I don't even know how I made that mistake. But anyways, I went ahead and took them off. Because if, if you notice the last video, it was hanging out. And I'm like, what in the hell did I just do? Like I said, I'm a pure idiot. But anyways, that goes over here. Point down. In the box this time so we don't make that mistake again. And then this one. All you got to do. Is pop the lever up. And then. Um. Take this assembly, the, the, the wiper assembly, lay it on top of the wiper, put it in the hole, lay it on top, like this, and then slide it up, and then push this down, there we go, now that looks better, I'll stand back a little bit so you can see it, now that looks a lot better. And then lift the arm up, move the towel, and we're good to go. Okay, hopefully I'm able to save somebody some money. Because like I said, the dealer wanted to charge me $50. And that wasn't including the wipers. They just wanted to charge me $50 labor to replace the inserts. And I had to drag that out of them because they had me thinking it was wipers. So I'm like, well, since they're $30 a piece, why not? Well, when I started questioning them, that's when they explain, oh no, we just do the inserts. Are you kidding me? Inserts were only $10 a piece. So, but anyways, I just wanted to um, come back online and uh, clear up that mistake I made because I'm pretty sure you guys saw it. Uh, and again, it ain't no shame in my game. If I make a mistake, I let it be known. I'm, like I said, I'm not no master mechanic. I'm just somebody getting tired of getting robbed by the dealer and then stuff not getting fixed right. I can go on and on. But have a good day, guys.